everyone and welcome to this reading. So our beautiful soul sister Akantia has sent me this sleep tight deck. So I'm going to do a pick up our reading with this deck to bring in some messages about how we sleep. Because sometimes we don't sleep very well, do we? Let's be honest. And anything that can enhance our sleep is a blessing. So this is what we're going to do. So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I'm going to use these cards to give a message from heaven about how you can sleep better or anything you need to know to improve your sleep. Because if you're not sleeping very well right now, the angels can help you. And I'm certainly feeling this. You know, I've been picking up on the masculine energy. Maybe you're picking up on your masculine energy or your divine masculine themselves or you're just a bit worried about something, maybe something's on your mind and it's affecting your sleep. It can even be the weather and things connected with change of life, all kinds of things that affect our sleep, even the bed that we have. You know, if we need a new mattress or if the bed doesn't feel right anymore, or even if we need a new pillow, all these things can affect us. So we're going to see what the angels have to say. So I'm going to use three piles for this and I'm using these beautiful lotus flower candles and these are floating flower candles. So we're going to use the yellow for pile one, the green for pile two and the blue for pile three. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to shuffle the cards. Thank you angels. What message about sleep do we need to know for everyone watching please for pile number one? What do we need to know please for pile number one? What do we need to know? They are a new deck, so I'm just going to shuffle them until I feel the card is ready. What do we need to know? Wow, okay, there we go. So pile number one. What do we need to know, please, angels, for pile number two? What do we need to know? Thank you, there it is. See if this one's coming out? Yeah, taking out anything that's jumping. And pile number three, what do we need to know? For pile number three, the blue candle. Thank you, angels, there we go. Okay. So we've got three messages and three piles. So all I need you to do is pick your pile. I'm going to timestamp it. It will be in the description box below. Okay, let's do this then. So pile number one. So first of all, let's do it. We've got 220. First of all, with pile number one, with you choosing the yellow candle, I really feel the peace angel, archangel Honiel around you. And she's a female archangel and she will help you to feel more peaceful as you fall asleep. So she's going to help you to release any fears, any worries, any concerns to heaven to have them dealed with and healed overnight or dealt with. So she's going to help you to deal with any issues, any worries, anything that's on your mind that you need to relax and release, to bring in peace, to feel better, to feel safe, and to know that all is well. And this is what the angels do. You know, they bring in peace and harmony, they calm your mind, and they take your problems away, because they sort them out for you when you ask for their help. And Archangel Honiel will help you to feel more at peace, to feel calmer, to feel more relaxed, more in the now, because when we're in the now, we do feel much better. So the messages we've got are welcoming the good. What a beautiful message. And there's a real sunshine vibe around this too. You know, yellow for the sun coming out as well. So it's always a reminder that tomorrow is another day. So if you've been struggling with something, tomorrow is a brand new day. So relax, release, breathe and know that you can start again afresh. So I also feel this card or this message is signifying a fresh start for you, a new beginning, the dawn of a new day. And the message says, welcoming the good. Find a comfortable position and close your eyes. So this is also about meditation and relaxing your breathing. Welcome all the good in the world with every breath you inhale and say, welcome in your mind. So the angels are saying to you to bring in a calmer state of mind so you lead to a better night's sleep and you feel better and you feel more relaxed and calm, calm your mind. So close your eyes, find somewhere you can go and just have five minutes to yourself. Close your eyes, put your hands palm up and relax and breathe. Put them on your lap and just breathe it in and say, welcome. <sighs> welcome. So you're welcoming everything in. 
So you're releasing the past and you're preparing for this new beginning, the dawn of a new day. So you're welcoming in the new. Take all the good in with every breath you exhale and say thank you in your mind. So this is about breathing in faith and love and hope and wisdom and releasing out fear or anger or stress. So you're breathing it in and welcoming it in. Let's do it together. Breathe in and release. So you're breathing in the new and you're releasing the old. You're welcoming in new energy and you're breathing out the old. So you're calming your mind, relaxing, breathing and allowing all the good things to flow in. You are worthy of all the good, so feel it in your body. I welcome the good. So use that affirmation today to welcome all the good things in. So anything you've been struggling with, anything you've been going through, if you feel you need a fresh start, you're ready now. You're ready to let go of the past. You're ready to let go of the fears, the struggles, the doubts, the pain. Now is the time to do it. Welcome in the good. So beautiful. So I'm going to pop that there. The next one, wow, just say yes, so powerful. So these are also affirmation cards, love it, just say yes. So you're being guided to open yourself up to the new, to a new start and now the angels are asking you to just say yes, say yes to the good flowing in, say yes to the new flowing in. Lie in bed with your eyes closed and start saying yes in your mind. With every breath you inhale and exhale, repeat the word yes. Say yes to life, yes to your dreams, yes to sleep and yes to anything and everything or just say yes to nothing. So you can do this as you're falling asleep. Just lie in bed and just say yes in your mind. I am open. I am open to the new. I am ready. Yes, thank you universe. Or you can do this in meditation. You're welcoming in the new and you start feeling that powerful energy and you say yes, yes to life, yes to the universe. Thank you, thank you. Because when you say thank you, it really means yes, yes, yes. When you say amen, it really means thank you, yes, yes. So the angels are saying you're attracting in everything you want by saying yes. Words are powerful and a positive word like yes will make you feel happy, relaxed and carefree. Yes, 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 thank you. And I love that because it says that at the bottom. So the angels are saying, this is about raising your vibration. So if you've chosen this pile, the way to help you sleep better, the way to help you feel better, the way to help you release the past is to really say yes to life. Relax your mind, call an Archangel Honiel and raise your vibration. So you allow the good in. So powerful. Caress your face. Wow. Caress your face. A massage is a really powerful tool because it calms you. When was the last time someone caressed your face? Held you? Made you feel loved? The way a mother makes a child feel loved? Kissing the forehead, a sign of love and respect, energy. And you may be getting this energetically from your beloved one, from your twin flame or your person. You may be having this within a relationship if you are communicating with your person. But the angels are saying this is about really calming your own mind and relaxing your body and massaging yourself and giving yourself your nurturing love. Lie on your back and close your eyes and very gently start caressing your face, the forehead, the temples, the cheeks, the eyes, the jawline and if you feel like adding a little more pressure you can do that too. After a while relax your hands and continue by visualising your face softening even more. When your face softens, the tensions around your head disappear. Take care of yourself. How beautiful is that? And it's something we don't think of doing. 
caressing our face. We may massage our hands or, you know, our feet or our arms, but we don't really think, like, think about massaging our face or caressing our face. It's a sign of love. And this is a sign of love and respect for yourself, giving that kind of love and nurturing energy to yourself. And it's like, you know, when you've got a headache and you rub your temples, it can take away the pressure. So the angels are saying, when you go into bed tonight, just lie there for a moment, caress your face, relax and breathe and welcome in the new and say yes to life. And a great affirmation is, I take care of myself. I look after me. I nurture myself because you've got an inner child inside of you craving your love. So give that child inside of you some love today and caress your face and it will release all the tension. So beautiful. Maybe some the angels are saying maybe someone's going to caress your face today. So if you've got a meeting with your person or with your partner, maybe they're going to touch your face. Or maybe somebody in your life will touch your face and that will be a sign from above. Or you will feel something touching your face energetically. And that's the angels around you. That's your beloved one around you bringing in love. So beautiful. Supported by life. So I love this reading for you because the angels are saying it's not just about the, the way that you lie or the things that you have on your bed or in your bedroom. This is about knowing that tomorrow will be a better day. It's about being open to a new beginning, saying yes to life, nurturing yourself, looking after you, and knowing in your heart and soul that you are supported by life because the universe loves you and the universe has got you and you are safe. And the message says, lie on your back. So all of these are about meditation lying on your back, not your side or your front, it's about lying on your back, calming yourself down, so you'll do this just before you fall asleep, or you could be doing all of this in meditation, lie on your back and close your eyes, imagine your bed being like an inflatable mattress, drifting on the ocean of life, how beautiful is that, so you close your eyes and you just visualise drifting off, drifting off and then you drift to sleep but you're drifting off to somewhere new there will be high tides and low tides but you can always count that your bed will keep you afloat such a great message there because life gives you highs and lows ups and downs twists and turns a roller coaster ride of emotion but you have to know that you are safe and supported so this bed that you're on it's supporting you as you sleep it's allowing you to feel safe, to breathe, to know that you are protected. Sink into your bed and feel it supporting your sleep, night after night, because life supports you in the same way, day after day. What a beautiful message. I am supported by life. I love it. So the angels are saying to you, great affirmations to use as you are falling asleep. I take care of myself. I am supported by life. I welcome the good and I say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, universe, for loving me. Thank you, universe, for supporting me. And thank you, universe, for keeping me safe. Thank you for taking care of me all as well. And so it is. And Archangel Honiel is going to bring in this peaceful energy so that you have the time. So if you want to do this as a meditation and not as you're falling asleep, you'll find the time. Archangel Honiel will work closely with Archangel Metatron to help you to find the time, to breathe, to relax, to tune into heaven, to know your worth. So know your worth today. You deserve this time for you. You deserve the God. You deserve the best of everything, and the universe wants to support you and give it to you now. I hope you have a better night's sleep tonight. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon. Wow. Pile 2, 1422. Welcome, Pile 2. So you've chosen the beautiful green candle. So this is obviously the energy of Archangel Raphael around you. Helping your heart to heal. Helping your heart to 
to really open up to love, to allow you to feel all of your emotions and to allow you to feel at peace. So if you've been dealing with anything in your heart space, anything connected with your twin flame or your relationship or something that may have hurt your heart or caused you anxiety or caused you pain in your heart and your emotions, Archangel Raphael is on it right now. He's helping you to feel more at peace, to feel more relaxed and to breathe and to know that you are safe and loved. If you've been dealing with anything physical that's been stopping you from sleeping well at night or relaxing, maybe there's an ache and pain that won't seem to go away or you're dealing with ascension symptoms or you're picking up on the way your divine masculine is feeling. If you're going through anything in the physical body or anything in the heart chakra, Archangel Raphael is with you now and he's helping you to heal, to recover and to be filled with lots of energy so you sleep better and you release pain. So any pain you're going through, Archangel Raphael is helping you to heal and it may be coming through as fear. Thank you for giving me fear. So pain can cause fear because you're not sure what's next or you don't know what's to come. And Archangel Raphael is helping you to heal all of that now. So it's okay for you to open your heart. It's okay for you to love. It's okay for you to be a little bit vulnerable because the angels are right by your side and you are loved. So the message coming through for you is you are loved and you're being healed right now. You are recovering. So let's see what the cards say. Wow, look at this. I am amazing. So that's an affirmation for you to use. So the angels want you to remember how amazing you are. So this may not just be about you having pain or, you know, physical pain that's stopping you from sleeping. It may be that you're worrying about something in your mind, through your heart. Maybe you're worrying about your person. Maybe you don't feel good enough or they're with someone else or there's something on your mind right now. And the angels want you to know that you are amazing. Maybe you're going through something at work that's causing you struggle or someone in your family has had a disagreement with you or doesn't understand you or you're not feeling understood. And the angels are saying to you, you are amazing. Remember who you are. Remember your power. You are a creator. You are a being of love and light. You are liquid love. You are here having this spiritual journey and you're here to learn and you're here to grow, to embrace all the good in your life. You are amazing. Know that now. So the affirmation to use is I am amazing just the way I am. So the angels are saying to you, you don't need to change who you are. You don't need to change anything. Just be you. Remember your power and know that you are loved. Go to bed and close your eyes. Thank yourself for everything you have done today. Thank yourself even if you haven't done very much today. Thank yourself for the day. And thank yourself for who you are inside. And tell yourself, I am amazing just the way I am. Such a beautiful message. So this is a message about gratitude. And gratitude is the greatest healer. It multiplies everything. It brings in power. So if you're worrying, then you're multiplying that worry. But if you're grateful and thinking positive and blessing things, then you're multiplying all of that. Which energy would you like to be in today? I know I'd like to be in the energy of gratitude and love and blessings. So Archangel Raphael is saying to you, let's do it together. Allow me to come in to heal your heart. Allow me to come in to take the stresses away. Allow me to feel you so that you can feel better, sleep better and know that you are safe. So when you go to bed tonight, just close your eyes or even do it before you fall asleep. Maybe you've got a gratitude rock that you use or a gratitude journal where you write things down. Maybe you've not done it for a while and you know that you should. So spend some time tonight and for the next month as well because it takes 28 days to bring in a habit so that you bring all the best things in. So if you can do this for the next 28 days, it will really heal you and help you. So when you go to bed, just close your eyes or write in your journal and thank yourself for everything you've done today. So yes, you're thanking the universe and you're thanking the angels and the creator and 
everyone up there, but you're also thanking yourself because you're the one that's lived this day. You're the one that's living your life. You're the one that's experiencing everything. So even though you've got all that support from above, the angels are reminding you that you are amazing and you're the one that's survived. You're the one that's thrived. You're the one that's done those things. So thank yourself today. And thank yourself if you haven't done much today at all. Because some days you need a rest. Some days you need to time out. Some days you need to just do what you want to do. So don't feel guilty for that either. Thank yourself for that time. For just allowing yourself to be. Thank yourself for the day. So whether it's been a good day or a bad day, it's taught you things. It's an opportunity to grow. It's been there for you. So thank yourself for the day and thank yourself for who you are inside because you are beautiful and you are amazing and you are liquid love. So say to yourself, I am amazing just the way I am. So beautiful. The next card, powerful, it's called safe place. So the angels are reminding you that you are safe and that when you go to bed, it's your safe place. So maybe you're going through something where you don't feel safe. Maybe your home doesn't feel secure. Maybe you're worried about a break-in or you're worried about being watched or there's something on your mind. Call on the angels. Call on the angels, especially Archangel Michael, to put angels at each window of your property and each door. And imagine these angels, because angels are warriors, you know, they're not little fluffy beans of light that fly around, they're warriors. So imagine warriors standing in front of your house, standing by each window and each door, standing outside your room, protecting you, because you are protected by an army of angels every single moment of your life. And the angels are saying to you, your bedroom should be a safe place. They're also saying, make it calmer. So, if you've got a television in your bedroom, try not to watch it. Cover it up at night so it's not reflecting that black energy. You know, the energy like a black mirror. And it's not reflecting that energy towards you. Make sure that you're feeling proud of who you are and you feel good about yourself. Make sure that you're in bed relaxing and breathing so you've got no exercise equipment around there's nothing there that can affect your mind or your energy. Making sure that there's nothing in the bedroom that's going to cause tension. So try to go to bed without your phone. You know, try to go to bed without your laptop or your tablet or technology. Try to switch things off. If you go to bed with a light on, maybe bring in a night light or a candle or something else. Calm energy. The angels say a bedroom should be about sex and sleep. So the angels say make sure your bedroom is a sanctuary and then you'll feel calmer. You know, so many people say to me they can't sleep and I say, have you got a TV there? You have to remember a TV is a mirror because you can see yourself in it. So you have to cover things like that up. Don't have mirrors in the bedroom either if you can't or cover them up because it's reflection energy. And you want to feel safe and at peace. Close your eyes after finding a relaxed position in bed. So when you're in bed, find a relaxed position. You know, don't do something that makes you uncomfortable. If you're getting back eight lying on your back, try and turn on your side. Or, you know, prop yourself up better. Make sure you're looking after you. If you had a safe place in your body, where would it be? Feel your way throughout your body. When you find the spot, place your hands there. So maybe you're going through your body and your mind and your tummy is your safe place. So you put your hands there or you put your hands on your heart because that's where the love comes from. Or you put your hands by your side with your palms up. So you're reflecting and bringing in powerful energy. You're bringing in calmer energy. Place your hands there and concentrate all your energy on the safe place. The angels are showing me the heart space. So when you lie in bed tonight, put your hands on your heart, even just for five minutes, and feel all the beautiful energy, the relaxation, the calm, the safety, the power going into your heart, healing you. All your energy going on there. So the angels are saying, Archangel Raphael will put all of his green emerald energy 
all of his powerful light into this space, into you to heal you, to heal your heart. And if your thoughts start to wander, bring them gently back to safety. So if you start thinking about things and overthinking and your mind starts wondering or wandering, then bring yourself back to that place. Bring yourself back to peace. Bring yourself back to calm and know that you are safe. When you have safety inside of you, you don't need to seek for it elsewhere because you have everything you need. So relax and go to sleep. So the angels are reminding you that right now in this moment that you are safe and that you have everything that you need. There's no need to worry. There's no need to panic. There's no need to be afraid. So the angels are reminding you of that. I provide safety for myself. So the angels are saying to you, provide safety. Provide safety for yourself. Know that you are loved. Know that you are protected. That all of heaven has got your back. And it will bring you to this safe place. So the angels are reminding you of who you are. Let go, breathe and know that you are safe, you are well and all is as it's meant to be. Wow, have a great night, sleep well, use that affirmation, I provide safety for myself, the angels are with you, you are loved. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon, wow. Pile number three, welcome 2606. Welcome pile three. So you've chosen this beautiful blue flower candle and this is the energy of Archangel Michael. It's also the energy of Archangel Samuel coming through, helping you to find what you are seeking. So maybe right now you're struggling to sleep because maybe you don't feel safe. You may be going through something financially. Maybe you don't know what you're searching for. You don't know what you're seeking. Maybe you're trying to find the answers to a question. You're looking for something in your life. You may be looking for your life purpose. What mission am I here for? I feel you've got questions in your mind. So when you're falling asleep, you may be going through things. So the angels are saying to you, look for all the precious moments in your day. All the precious moments in your life. And this is about gratitude because both cards are about gratitude. Giving thanks and precious moments. So give thanks for your precious moments. The angels say, grab a pen and some paper and write down all the precious moments that you were lucky enough to experience today. So this is very much like gratitude. When you go over everything in your mind and you think about everything and it brings up pain sometimes because maybe something hasn't happened the way you wanted it to. You have to accept that and release it. Everything that happens to you is growing you. It's making you stronger. It's tapping you into who you truly are. It's reminding you of the truth. It's helping you to see, to see clearly, to gain clarity. So the angels say, before you go to bed tonight, write down all the beautiful things that you've experienced, all the wonderful things. And if you haven't experienced anything good, then write down why. And what you think you've learned from that experience and what it's taught you. And it will put you into a place of power. It will raise your vibration from panic and pain into trust and love. It will heal you. And Archangel Michael is reminding you that you are safe. And that every day you experience blessings. Some days you'll experience lots of blessings. Other days you won't. So you have to remember you always have highs and lows, ups and downs. So remember your power. Grab a pen and some paper and write down all the beautiful things, all the things you have to be grateful for, all the precious moments. And it's so powerful when you write it down. It's powerful when you go over it in your mind. But when you write it down, it gives you power. And not just typing. It's about writing with an actual pen on a physical piece of paper. Writing down how you feel about things. Because you were lucky today, lucky to experience your life, lucky to experience all the things that you felt inside. Gratitude will fill your body with ease, making you relaxed and happy and ready to dream. So whatever's happened in your day, whatever struggles you've been through, before you go to bed, let it go. Turn it into gratitude. Turn the pain into peace. Turn that into power. Remember your power is in your strength, in your thoughts, because thoughts become things. So go to bed feeling good because you are creating. And use the affirmation, I allow myself to experience good things. 
So experience good things, know yourself, stand in your power and know that you are safe. Giving thanks. Write down a list of everything you are thankful for, starting from the greatest, most abstract things and come down to the smallest concrete things. And they show me feathers here. So if you start seeing feathers, big, big sign that you're protected by angels. If you've been waking up at 4.44 in the morning, big, big sign that you're protected by angels. If you're waking up at 3.33, the ascended masters have got you. You are safe. If you're waking up at 5.55, changes. So give thanks to all of this because you're already being shown signs. You may be just seeing the numbers randomly throughout your day, but you are loved and protected and safe and the angels have got you. Your body will react to giving thanks. It will mellow out and drifting into sleep will become easier. And the message is, I enjoy giving thanks. So the angels are reminding you to be grateful. And a great book to read is The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. It's a 28 day workbook. Each day you set a task to be grateful. So I really feel this isn't just about falling asleep and relaxing. It's also about using gratitude as a great multiplier to bring in everything you want, to tap into who you are, to know yourself, to know that you are loved and safe and protected, to surrender the journey, to know that all is well. The angels are saying that to you. Your body will react to giving thanks and it will mellow out. So the more grateful you are, the better you feel because you're raising your vibration and you can't be in the energy of gratitude and be in the energy of fear. They don't work together, they're two different vibrations. So to release fear, anxiety and stress, just be grateful. You may think I've got nothing really to be grateful for now. Well, you have, you were alive, you were living. You are in this body right now, experience things. How amazing is that? When you walk on the floor, you feel the sensations of the grass or the ground under your feet. When you touch a surface, it feels powerful because you're tapping in with energy. So allow yourself to be grateful. Allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to tap in to who you truly are because you are loved and safe and protected. And that's what the angels want you to know. So give everything to heaven today. Be grateful. And the more you're grateful, the more magic will flow in. And gratitude, it takes time. So it takes 28 days to turn things around fully. So if something's really bad in your life right now, first of all, know that you are safe and loved and protected and that Archangel Michael is all around you and there's nothing to fear. Your guardian angel is right by your side. And secondly, know that when you're grateful day in, day out for 28 days, your life will turn around. So try tonight and the next month to write down gratitude. Sometimes we really go for that. You know, we start off really well, we do 10 days of gratitude and then we have a day off it and then we feel like we're falling back into the pit of despair. So we have to remember that we have to keep up doing these. It's a spiritual practice. It's something you do daily to enhance your life. So enhance your life today by being grateful. And Archangel Shamuel will help you to find what you're seeking. So if you're wanting a change, if you're wanting magic in your life, if you're looking for something new, then be grateful for what you've got now. And all the doors to the future will open because you are safe and you are protected and you are loved. So give thanks today. Be grateful for all things. Your life will turn around and you will sleep better. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.